So you know that cool little effect at the end of every match where time slows down and I, honestly I can't help but thinking man it'd be so much easier to hit headshots for my old ass if it was like this all the time. Well believe it or not that used to be a reality for Lucio. Yes according to Jeff Kaplan Lucio's original alt was a total time scale for everyone in the match but him. Which means that that little cool effect that you see at the end of the match would be applied to everybody except for for Lucio. He'd be zipping around, popping headshots, running quickly to his team to give them some heals or whatever. That's an absolutely insane thought. Now obviously nothing like that's coming back as much as Blizzard's doing a ton of overhauls. I don't expect Sound Barrier to ever be replaced with a time slow mechanic, but it's really cool to think about uh, some of the other stuff that Blizzard had considered. That also means that that's a possibility that could be something that could return in the future for another hero. But more so than that, Jeff also took talked about how something like this could make it into the custom game options. When responding to a thread that talked about that slowdown mechanic and requesting it for custom games, Jeff said this, the engine can time scale. We use it internally frequently. We'll look into whether or not we can make this a custom game option for you. So this would be cool for a variety of reasons. I don't know that we could ever in custom games replicate the time scale for most of people in the match except for a particular hero, but at at the very least, having the option to timescale for an entire lobby would make for a lot of fun. Now, yeah, right now we can do things like slow down movement speed or increase projectile speed, but what we can't do is slow down all projectiles to a crawl or slow down all animations, cast times, things of that nature. Having a timescale option for the entire lobby would make for some fun low gravity or very slow moving projectile, uh, different gameplay options. Imagine how cool would be with like a bullet hell game mode where you you could have bastions just volleying tons of bullets in your direction on one team and the other team just has to try to dodge and avoid them with everything moving slow you'll be able to see it all coming and it's just a matter about of responding in the right manner or this idea of having like this low gravity simulator i saw a really cool idea in the forums that talked about winston on the moon simulate low gravity with this uh, time scale mechanic and so every jump and, and leap from Winston players would be like bounding on the moon. Now, along with this, you'd get things like, again, the animations would be slowed down, projectiles, all of that stuff. It's a really cool thing to think about. I'm also excited at the notion that this was something that Blizzard had considered at one point, because like I said, that means that it could be possible that we could see a time controlling hero again in the future. I absolutely love that idea. It's probably hard to balance, I imagine, <laughs> makes up something like that that does not come across as totally OP. And then I also don't know if Blizzard loves the idea of forcing everyone in the lobby to slow down. Like it's, it's almost like an entire lobby crowd control, if you will. That seems a bit strong. So it's probably for good reason that they removed it from the game. But the idea that it once was in the game and that it could potentially come back in the future, at the very least, I would love to see if Blizzard added something like this to the custom games. And this also brings up a lot of the excitement behind the potential for custom games. You know, Blizzard also talked about the, the possibility in the future of a map editor. This is something they talked about, I think it was last week or the week before or so. This notion that we could eventually get the tools to make our own levels. And this, with all of the other options in the custom game engine at the moment, would just open up another huge avenue for players to be creative, come up with their own modes, and offer other ways to play Overwatch. And hell, even potentially lead into other genres and games because we can't forget the entire genre of MOBA came from custom games. Back originally in StarCraft and then in WarCraft 3 is what spawned the modern day Dotas and League of Legends and Heroes of the Storms, the MOBAs that, that we know today. Man, lots of possibilities if you give the tools to the player base, especially a player base that's as passionate and dedicated as we have here in Overwatch. Uh, either way, really excited. Want to let you guys know about Lucio the Time Lord and talk a bit about the potential that this could mean for the custom games. I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you think that this ultimate, if it did come back into the game through another hero, would be way too strong? Or do you think Blizzard could do it? I think so long as they gave it to a hero that didn't have a ton of killing potential, it could actually work out. Maybe a support or defense character. I love the idea, not gonna lie. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for me here today. As always, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a good one. And until next time, I'll see you later.